All right, man, so today we are kind of lugging it on foot. Kind of surprised that a lot of this, uh, the weeds and grass haven't died off yet with the cool weather, but um, got some wax worms with me, got some ice jigs. We're gonna hit some, you know, creeks and see what's lurking. Um, it's much easier in the winter time when this is all kind of beaten down. Um, but as you can tell up ahead, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little creek right here. Which in the winter time, man, is super accessible. But I guess they haven't had that, that cold runoff yet to, you know, kill most of these weeds. So uh, I'm just gonna try and get over here. There's like a little pool. Last time I came here, there's like a little pool up ahead. And it's funny how many, you know, fish actually get trapped in this little area. And I'm just trying to watch where I'm going because I'll tell you what, these rocks are slippery, man. You take one false step and you're going to be super wet the rest of the day. But let me see if I can't maneuver. Oh, definitely going to have to check for ticks when I get home, man. But look how cool this is, man. This little pond, little pool, I guess you'd call it. I'm going to see if I can't find a spot that I can fish from. All right, so all I'm doing, taking one of these wax worms. Keep that in my pocket. I've got a nice little ice jig. And all we're going to do is tip the ice jig with the wax worms. Could use artificials here, but had these guys sitting in the fridge for a while, and I don't want them to go bad. And all I got is, you know, a trout magnet float. Um... I do see, looks like a bass or something right there. Oh, I just caught that leaf. See if that bass is interested in it. All right, look at that, look how quick that is. I think that might be a creek chub though. Look at that. First fish of the day, man, creek chub. Oop, dropping my rod. Look at that, that's not a giant by any means, but they really don't get too much bigger than that. So many fish. Look at this. They're all just kind of lurking right there. They all look like creek chubs right, right next to me. Look, one just grabbed it. That's pretty cool. It's like sight fishing for creek chubs. They really are a cool species too. They kind of look like... Oh, they kind of look like a small cobia, if you could believe that. Like a freshwater cobia. I mean, it's almost instant. As soon as that hits the water, the fish start to swarm near it. All right, either that's a really big creek chub or a bass right to the left of where I casted. Kind of looking at it right now. I think that might be a big creek chub, man. That might be the mama chub. Thing's huge. It's gotta be like, 10 inches, maybe 12. Bit of a difference, and that quick we have one hit it. Damn, look at that monster. Now that ain't the big one I saw, but that's getting bigger. Yeah, I mean, there's like a monster chub just lurking right there. Problem is, there's so many little ones that keep getting to it first. And what's weird is they keep going back and forth. They're like zigzagging. You almost got to drop it right on top of them. Like that. As soon as it gets there, you have one. Look at that. Damn, that's the monster. Look at that freaking monster chub. Holy moly, look at that. That's, that's the one you take home and mount and put on the mantle. Damn, that, I'll tell you what, that might be the biggest chub I've had in a while here. Look at him. Now he's just going to chill over there. Try. There's like three or four right there, but they're just out of casting range. Maybe that casts 
might have got to him. What's crazy is something just went after the bobber. Got something. That's a different species. That is a juvenile sunfish. All right, man. Adjusting it one more time because they are a little bit beneath where I'm casting. Funny enough, like that could be the difference of catching and not catching. There we go. With the that might be it. See, that was right at their eye level. And that quick we have something pulling on it. Isn't that crazy? Literally had this right on top of them, but they I guess they don't like feeding from below. I know like certain species like crappie you know, love feeding from beneath what they're eating. There we go. That's the cast right there. It's like right in the creek chub den. One grabbed it. Got him. Oh. Uh, now that's a different species. That might be a hybrid right there. A hybrid or... I don't know, I'm going to have to take some pictures. Pretty sure this is a uh, new species for the channel. I'm going to do my research, you know, before editing this video, but pretty sure we haven't caught this, you know, type of cat, uh, a sunfish yet. Oop, let's let him go. Oop. No? Different. I think that's a different species right there. I just dropped it down. That looks like a different species. Got him. That's a bass. Let's freaking go, man. That's a, my first creek bass. Look at that. Dude, that is so cool. Never caught one of them before in a creek like this. Tell you what, man. That's uh, four species right there, all in this little creek. There he goes. Look. That's pretty cool, man. Now, there was another species right there. I don't know where it went. It looked like a white sucker fish. Which, man, if we could catch one of them, that would be awesome. But I think when I hooked that bass, it kind of spooked him. So I'm not sure where he went. Literally, something just grabbed that as I was dropping it. Now, that's a different species right there. Look at that. That, I think is a, I honestly don't know what type of, maybe a pumpkin seed. I don't know. I got to get a picture of that guy. Could be the same species we caught before, but taking a picture just in case. Got to let him go. What a cool looking fish, man. Man, this like creek is like loaded with species 